So, just to clarify for my partner here, could you tell me what happened once again? Uh, I opened the shop this morning, Gerda, and we'd been robbed. The till was empty. They even took the collection box for the sick children. Not even to mention the back door was broke. Are you hearing this, Gerda Scanlon? She thinks that someone would be bothered to burgle a charity shop in this day and age. Are you serious? There's been not one sign of a burglary here. But those visible fingerprints on the wall, are you not going to dust them? There's only one of us here that's a member of the constabulary. And it's not you, sugar tits. It's quite clear what happened in this charity shop. A magpie came in through that chimney. He went looking for something shiny in the till. He was so distraught to only find paper money that he went on a 9-11 style suicide mission through that back door. I repeat, there's no sign of a burglary here. Gerda Scanlon, get the squad car while I handcuff this criminal. Right there, Gerda Slattery. This is ridiculous. Uncuff me, Gerda. I'm going to put a formal complaint in against you. But nobody will listen. <laughs> it's a funny old thing, burglaries. I once had a sergeant, and he couldn't tell if a cat burglar was a man who stole from a cat or a cat who stole from a man. And when he finally found out what it meant, he shot himself. <laughs> well, hey, boys, look at me, huh? Donald Trump, 100% silk, huh? <laughs> where, where did you get those pajamas? Calm, calm, calm now. I was going to leave them back. Where did you get those pajamas? That box over there. Jimmy Savile was a sex offender. Have you any idea what happens when you put on the pyjamas of a sex offender? No. You turn into a sex offender yourself. It's like being bitten by a vampire. No. I've never told anyone this, but when I was young, I was a toaster in a Magdalene laundry. I, I, I watched the Catholic Church's sex scandal unfold before me. Most priests were quiet, gentle lads from the country who had no interest in anything sexual. But there were one or two absolute perverts. And when these priests' sweaty collars would get mixed into the laundry with the rest, the perversion would spread to the other priests like a virus. And before we knew it, the whole thing was completely out of control. Is there anything I can do about it, at least? There's only one known cure. You're going to have to molest yourself. Would it not have been easier if I just bought myself a pack of the Haribo and had a wank? No, no, no. Undo the crotch and the pyjama bottoms and just try and give it a bit of a sucky. This isn't working. I, I'm not Prince. I can't do this. I'm stressed now. Light me up a fight. You see, the problem is, is that you give up too easily. I didn't get where I am today by giving up as easily as that. Oh, shit. Stay, stay! Burn your the flames! Girls! Girls, help! Stop! Quick, let me take off my jacket! No, no, girls! Put him out with your spit! Spit on him! Put him out with your spit! Stop spitting! Spit on him! Spit on him, girls! Put him out with your spit! That's it! Spit! Spit some more! I'm placing you under arrest, Garda Scanlon. What? What for? I nearly burnt to death. You just had two schoolgirls spitting on you while you were sucking your own Mickey in a dustbin. Sure, it's not Japan we're living in. Didn't I tell you that wearing those pyjamas would turn you into a pervert? <laughs>